What's going down, AMD family? Today we're going to take a look at the 21.10.2 Adrenaline software from AMD. If you're brand new, you should definitely take note that you shouldn't be installing Windows 11 right now. In my personal humble opinion, it's a little too tech beta. And there's a lot of performance drops up to like almost 20 to 30% on gaming performance. So let them hammer out their own point. Even Windows 10 in the last few circumvents have hit some roadblocks in my personal opinion where I was like, oh, what's going down? But most game developers and their GPU drivers have came to our answer with giving us either optionals on direct of 11 or 10 OS installations for Windows. I'll point that out later on in this video. So if you're newer to the network, my name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel. Hit the subscription button, accompany it with the notification bell, and we're going to be looking at some patch notes, benchmarks, and see what ends up happening for this brand new optional from AMD. As you can see, what we have inside of the support back for blood and the rift breaker. The fixed issues for the timeouts for the black screen may be experienced in Assassin's Creed Origins within the RX 500 series. Some users still had some Dota issues with the OpenGL and OBS still has some issues with applications running in the background after you're done, which you can just use a control alt delete, find it in your command prompt and just end the task. Now, known issues, as you can see right over here, may experience some evolated portions of memory consumption in the multimedia for the portion of dumped folders. In the Radeon software inside of where you can see the CPU tuning features may be missing for some people inside of the AMD processors, such as Ryzen 5950X processors. Now we can also see for as far as the AMD software may crash or become unresponsive while playing the DirectX 11 games such as PUBG with multiple screens connected. Enhanced sync in the black screen for as far as when it occurs enabled, any users with this can very easily toggle it off and disable it for a temporary workaround. Radeon performance in the metric meters may have some higher than normal clock memory, which happens to be across a lot of theirs, but the older GPUs have a lot of support that help out with it. Like my Radeon 7 doesn't have that issue as much as it used to back in the day. Now, the same exact issues for as far as what we've seen inside the links, where the EVIC versus the AVC is the workaround for right now in the issues that are known in that. So. What I was mentioning before, we can see that Windows 11 definitely is joined by a new list on the AMD site. So if you're directing your attention to when you want to download direct, this might be helping clearing up some stuff. If you've had some installation issues with going with the built in AMD software installation and you ran into some issues after installing it, do a DDU, directly download the OS you have and install again and you should be fine. I'll have a link at the very end of this video in order for you to take advantage of that if you are in a predicament to help out. So let's go ahead and take a look at our benchmarks. And we can see that, well, there's some interesting situations when it comes down to the newer driver. Right now with 4K and DirectX 12, well, it's not too shabby, but the old driver definitely wins. With the old driver on the left, newer driver on the right, we can see at least we can, in this test, 3D Mark accepts it. Sometimes they were always saying, like, oh no, it's not valid on the first few days as they filter in the acceptance through an update on their site. It's very interesting how fast they do it with NVIDIA. It's like almost they're giving them information beforehand, which would be kind of cool if AMD did the same thing. Now with the 1080p in DirectX 12, again, the older driver takes it by a little bit in the gaming department. Not necessarily the CPU department, where you can see that the newer driver helps out somehow in tandem, which is very interesting. But we are seeing a little bit of progression. Maybe that's going to help you out with the stability throughout the whole gaming experience. Leave a comment down below if you have the newer driver installed and certain titles that you're playing and noticing boosts and or decreasements in. The same thing is said within the ecosystem of the current Windows system of what they've built and the older driver on the DirectX 11. Yeah, we have a clean 6700k score versus now the physics that will change score to score and match up as well as the combined score which sinks a little bit on the newer driver now the older driver performs well but not percentage breaking where we would say like it's 
something that you need to have. So this is on a base to base point of what you're playing. If you are experiencing newer issues on the newer driver, again, I would recommend reverting back to the older driver where you didn't have these issues into a new Windows Circumvent hits our table because I'm hoping towards the very tail end or the beginning or November, we'll see a very cleaner scheduling for graphics cards and what they've given us so far. September and October has gotten a little better, but September was horrible for as far as the platforms that they gave us to install. Now, this is where we start to see the performance trickle towards the newer driver in his favor. As you can see that the physical score, the graphics score, and even by just one point, you barely miss it, but that's a pretty well-rounded point system right there as we gain 30 points just on the overhead board, give or take between there on the lower side of. But our details that the newer driver finally working. Now the question is, how does it perform in just fire strike by itself? And this is where you see the topsy-turvy portion of what's happening. At this very point, what we can see is that the older driver is probably more than likely going to win across the board for more titles of what the platform and the Windows circumvent is at hand. The unfortunate thing is we see that right over here is almost 100 points more where you get the situation of performance and pixels and the older driver. Now, the combined portion of physics and the scores of those toe-to-toe -to -toe can be very close or surpass, give or take, but the graphic score is what we're really looking at. And unfortunately, because we have entered an era of Windows 11 becoming a new thing that's phasing in, just like Windows 10 did before in the past, and it phased in, they gave it for free, I don't recommend upgrading Windows 11 but I do recommend getting a free upgrade. So wait, subscribe to the channel to find out what happens for the adoption of, because I do have one Zen 2 processor that I would like to upgrade my rig to and have the performance of testing Windows 11, but right now it's just too experimental in a stage for me to actually deliver. Now, maybe I might in later on segments <laughs> take that Zen 2 processor and test them, Windows 10 versus Windows 11, and the performance of other content creation and what can be produced inside of my channel. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that. I personally, myself, I'm just going to give it maybe until next month before trickling into that water. But if the fan faves say that they want to see this because of the Zen processing issue, but I'm only hoping that they're working on a nice OS and the circumvent to correct this because that's the biggest news right now is how it's affecting Zen 2 and Zen 3 which are the applicable upgrades to get to Windows 11 and having the processing point of having the adoption of but it's taking too much of that processing point to operate. My name is Mac. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Subscribe. It's absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe we'll see a steady OS system roll out in the next few months on top of some nice, solid graphic drivers as we hunker in towards the holiday season to get some nice gameplay going on. But you'll have to subscribe to find out. So see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there. So don't install Windows 11. Don't install this new driver. My recommendation, if you have, leave a comment down below of what you've experienced and take advantage of the links up above in order to get a DDU or something that YouTube is subscribed to that gives you an algorithm point to slide into of my content. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Lates.